And if you take a look at this wall, you can see that they never cleaned where their stove used to be. I see we got John Holton. Uh, he <laughs> looks like he's got a huge saw. A lot of times these tenants, they'll change the locks. They'll barricade the doors so the eviction crew can't get in. Oh, the refrigerator's unplugged. We know what that means, don't we? <laughs> we're going to give, give it to you. That's the last time I came to Butch and I. And uh, took a lot of bugs out, hoping they, because it'd be dark in the mud. Yeah, so they plant some things. Take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. They seem to think that if they throw away the key when it's eviction day, we won't be able to get in. But uh, as you can see from John bringing a gigantic saw into this property, that's not the case. It don't matter what you do to that door. When it comes time for eviction day, Holton Wise is going to get into that house. Nobody enjoys throwing an entire family's things on the tree lawn. Landlords across the state would like to thank you, Lamont. Good job. All right, well, right. I'll just hit it. I'll hold it. I'm going to unlock the door. Come on in. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, this is the kitchen. Um, the cabinets are already removed, so unfortunately, we missed out on that. And if you take a look at this wall, you can see that they never cleaned where their stove used to be. They're starting to stack the tenants' belongings on the side of the house. See a mattress, lamps, you know, just regular, regular stuff. John told me the house was uh, completely filled. Oh, the refrigerator's unplugged. We know what that means, don't we? <laughs> One of the squatters is, that we picked out yesterday is walking down there with a big EMS bag. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, yeah. That's, that's what we kicked out. I was living down here for a little while, I helped my mom out upstairs. And uh, I've been cleaning the basement. But... And I pay the rent every month. If you get a sneak peek outside, um, some of this belongs to the house back there, but some of it also just belongs to the tenant who formerly lived in this front house. Some lovely, uh, like, melted morph poo on the plumbing right there. So. All the tenants' belongings are gonna end up stacked on that side of the house right there. Now the way it works here in Cleveland is all of that stuff is gonna be left out there and whatever isn't stolen by scrappers, see a lot of the scrappers, they will follow these bailiff's cars and they will steal all of that stuff. But whatever isn't stolen or retrieved by the tenants by 5 p.m. tonight, this moving crew is gonna drive back to this property. They're gonna grab everything, put it in their trunk, put it in their truck. They're either going to dispose of it, sell it, you know, whatever they got to do. You got some uh, quality records you might want to check out. This is... <laughs> you can't even wipe off the dust. That's how thick it is. Let me see. Uh, We're going to get this big furniture out the front room first. If we stay there. Look at how covered with dust that stuff over there is. Um, shine that light on that shelf, man. Look at those albums. Let's turn this bad boy on. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but it's goopy. Pretty gross. Some plumbers go watch this and be like, oh, that's some oh. special putty. I found my bad one for the week, but I think this one tops it. Right outside. Hello, Gary. Are you narrating your story? I, yeah, I am. Nice. You got anything to say?
insane. It's it's a shame. They probably got some quality albums in here too. I bet they're all roasted. So it's a small part, but it looks like this. The whole you know, it grew out. It's I can't see what I'm doing. You got something leaking from the refrigerator. They're absolutely disgusting. And you can see all those little specks on the fan, the ceiling, on the wall. I would say the doorways. Oh, here we are, because this isn't. This is painted white. All this stuff is just pest poop. So that's delicious. I got my flashlight. I did. There's that other lock that used to be right here. Like, I feel like that lady's living down here for a little while. I helped my mom out upstairs. And uh, I've been cleaning the basement, but it's like, it looks like Nestor was all closed on top of this before. So it was even more. These little cups are filled with some uh, goop that, like, it's like a jelly that absorbs smell. And then uh, you have some of your internet warriors out there saying like, oh, they probably rented it when it looked like this. No. If you say that, one, you're an idiot, and two, we started managing this like three months ago, and obviously this did not happen in three months. A lot of it is stuff that she had stored down here. Okay. They just like ripped it apart, you know, so I'm trying to pick it up, clean it. That's a hazard. Well, uh, do that up there. Oh yeah. And this is where the pictures come in. Now, as you're watching the guys take out the final set of this person's belongings. You're seeing all the mattresses, all the beds, everything just lined up on the tree lawn. Again, you might start to feel sad and you might be thinking, oh, this is horrible. How could you post this? But again, remember, this person has had seven months that they have chosen not to pay rent to this landlord. And this landlord is not a big corporation. Again, you see Holton Wise, you see the signs, you see the trucks. But you see, Holton Wise, we represent individual landlords. Can't take pictures for the owner and for management. They can go ahead and uh, discuss what's going to go on after this, you know, in terms of cleaning, repainting. There's obviously a lot of work. There's years of staining from oils and uh, cigarette smoke. Again, another beautiful fan. He's fucking awesome. Nobody enjoys throwing an entire family's things on the tree lawn. But this is real. This is the type of stuff that happens. If you invest in real estate, eventually this hand will be dealt to you. And it's just something that you have to deal with. We got to get in there, remove the stuff, and move on. Obviously, there's uh, stuff hanging from the walls because the bugs would hide behind it and live their best lives. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah, it's pretty gross. And, like, look at this thing. So, like, bugs like heat. So, like, this cord provides some sort of heat, but it's like a cable cord. And, like, look at that. Mm mm mm. I have a treat for you today, Snapchat. Making my move, Gary. 
I'm going on the back side of that uh that spider. Holy fuck, he's huge. Look at that guy, he's Damn, so many plastic bags. We're gonna make a line. Take care of it. I just have to sweep this right now. And the canvas. But I help take care of the um, uh, life out of my but that right upstairs. Okay. Right, let's check this other side here real quick. Are you guys gonna lock things in? What's that? Are you guys gonna put a lock in? The maintenance guy says I'm gonna lock things. Yeah, we were thinking. Yeah, most likely. Damn, look at that fucking thing. Big boy, big boy. I also found another room back here that I didn't know was here before. What the hell is that? Probably a booby trap. Oh man, there's so many webs. So many webs. They steal movies from the library. And, uh, yeah. Gary pointed out that they almost fucking burned their couch and probably killed themselves. So that's good. HWN. bathroom Kids are trying Hopefully to buy that's the hardest thing to take. Yeah. Yeah. Missing vents. You know, a lot of these doors don't have handles. Was this, that attic? Yeah, the attic's actually not that bad. You could, I mean, there's a hole by the uh, chimney. The stairs are really steep, so be careful. See, actually, probably the best room in the house. Minus uh, old flu pipe was here. Have to plug that. There is a leak up here. If you get the right angle, you can see some daylight poking through, and you can see there's obvious moisture damage. Watch your stuff. You get another glamour shot in the backyard. You can see that there's no window, like right there, and this dog. Like, we can't go in the backyard because there's a dog that will jump out and. Try to kill us. Oh, God. Oh. Well, enough of that. <coughs> no. Alright, I think I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, so, uh, 
that's what we deal with on like a weekly basis, sometimes a couple times a week. In this case, this was my second one this week. I don't know, at first I thought it was a booby trap. I ducked when I went through there. Mm mm mm, beautiful. Refrigerator. It's another bathroom we have yet to actually uh, get open, but. Here's the basement. Uh, we are basement someone recently stole all the copper so if you're trying to case the joint someone already did it please don't break in and steal non-existent copper yeah just look at that oh yeah so Pete did you like the house? Uh, I feel like I need to take a shower. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.